DeCatsy is the CEO of Canopy Realtor Association, Can Canopy MLS. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Uh, look, this is, uh, we talked in the break, very important stuff, if, especially for people, new people like myself. I just moved here seven months ago, people that are looking to buy, sell their homes. First of all, for anybody that's seen anything about this and they want to know more about it, what is the lawsuit about? So there's not just one lawsuit, but there was one that was decided on October 31st. Um, there are other lawsuits pending, and they are all class action lawsuits by groups of sellers. Uh, the plaintiff's attorneys have gotten them to uh, say that they overpaid for their house because, I mean, they didn't um, make as much from their house because they had to <clears throat> pay the buyer's agent. And so there's an allegation of antitrust um, collusion by realtors. And what does this mean for folks that are looking to buy or even sell their home now? So the situation right now is if you are looking for property and you're working with a buyer's agent, which you should be to protect your interests, uh, through the multiple listing service, when a listing is put into the MLS, the seller and the listing firm decide what the commission will be for a cooperating buyer broker. Um, that's what's going away. Uh, the U.S. Department of Justice um, would like to see a complete removal and the settlement between NAR and the plaintiffs with the lawsuit that was uh, decided in October, as well as several other lawsuits that are pending, uh, essentially will take the commission out of the MLS and the seller and the listing agent will have to work outside the MLS determine what their commission is going to be and negotiate that with the buyer and the buyer agent on each listing. So I've got about a minute and a half, but I have two more questions that I want to get answers from. What does this mean for the prices of homes? So what it means is, first of all, it's going to be more expensive for a lot of people to buy a home only because FHA, VA don't allow you to roll the commission that you're paying agents uh, into your mortgage. What about a conventional loan? conventional if they're backed by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac uh, as well. So it's going to be harder for buyers to come up with a down payment, pay settlement costs, and now pay their possibly pay their buyer agent. Hopefully sellers will continue to offer that cooperating compensation sure. so they can get more buyers. All right, I got about a minute left and I want to ask this. What about for aspiring realtors or people in the real estate industry already looking at the trajectory of their career? What does this mean now that the commissions could be in jeopardy? So it really should mean it's an opportunity to actually explain the value that realtors bring to the process, whether they're a listing agent or a buyer agent, because finding the home is the easy part. It's everything after that, yeah. from the offer to closing to everything in between, including inspections that realtors take care of. It's not magic. It's right. a lot of hard work. It and is. realtors uh, should get paid for their professional service, like any other profession. It's appraisals. It's it's. Uh, showing the house, it's uh, the inspections, inspections, left and right. Um, this is all great information for people to learn more about what's coming, especially for those who are in the market right now to either buy or sell a home. The information is up on the board right there. You can uh, research more about it, learn more about it, and we'll see how it continues uh, to evolve through the days. Uh, Anne Marie, thank you so much for your insight and your knowledge on a very important topic right now here in the Carolinas. Thank you. Of course, Kristen. All right, thank you.